fish today with Charlie. Killer day. Oh, we couldn't have caught more fish. Everything. Grand slam of the flash. We did have the inshore slam today. Yeah, we did. It was a good day. Oh, I don't know how many we caught because we couldn't quit. We ran out of, we ran out of time to count. To count. <laughs> Kidding me? I didn't have enough fingers and toes. <laughs> we had a lot of fish. Good time. Charlie did a good job. Thank you. Excellent. We That's what we like to hear, man. Great. Couldn't have been a funner time at the Bud and Mary's. Awesome, dude. Captain did his job. Hey, even hey. a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then, right? Know, tell Come you on. Man, you even made it home alive. Charlie, you got a good words. We thought we were lost all day. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't sure if we were making it back in. Worked out pretty well. Uh, a lot of snook, a couple reds, some trout. A lot of snook, though, man. Fishing's been great. Weather's been changing sporadically um, throughout the week. Cold, windy, calm, hot, rainy. Today it was a little wet when we woke up this morning. Um, had to hang out in the dock. We're supposed to leave at 6.30. We actually wound up didn't leave until 7.45 because of the rain. Once the rain left, we went and caught some bait. That went pretty smoothly, thank God. Headed out to the park. The plan was to go snooking first and then hit a couple snappers. The rain kind of changed those plans for us. I tried to improvise, so we stopped, took care of the snappers first, knocked out our limit, 10 snappers in Everglades National Park. Got rained on a little bit there. Once the rain cleared up, we took care of our 10 snappers. We headed back a little bit further out in the Flamingo. It's about every spot. Every spot was producing lots of snook, a couple quality fish, uh, a few fish over 30, a couple slot fish, and then just more fish than you can count as far as the 20 and 25 inches. Pretty much just shaking them off of the boat with the D-hookers, doubles, triples, I was fishing. Even myself as a captain, I caught a few snook. Caught um, a couple redfish and trout. Killer day, nonetheless. Make sure you guys call that office if you want a book. Ask for Captain Charles, Keezy Charters. I'd love to have you. Thank you very much. How much did he weigh? 26. 26, eight. That's right. 26, the tuna, I was right. How'd it go, man? Uh, it went well, it went well. Um, this morning we were able to get on these blackfin tunas. We caught our limit by about 8.30 in the morning. It was really good, we had live baits and we were able to catch everything on really light tackle, all spinning gear and uh, 15 pound test mainline, which is a lot of fun. Dr. Scott had us in the meat and then after that we went in and found those kingfish, had a real, real good uh, kingfish bite. <laughs> Dr. Scott's <laughs> yelling at me in the background. And um, yeah, and after that we, you know, we got lucky, caught that big grouper, and came in a little early because we burned all our ice up because we put too much fish in the ice box. All right, so once again, fishing on the Catch 22 out of Butter Mary's. Uh, well, as you guys can see, it's another great day on the Kalex. We uh. Had a great kingfish bite, found a mahi out there, caught some big tunas first thing in the morning. And we got lucky, caught another sailfish today. And uh, it's, it's something else. You guys just got to come down here and try it out. Something else. Put in there, and now hold this in your mouth. There it is. Yeah, he caught all yeah. this. He, caught he all makes it look right easy. Yeah. Keep, keep holding them there, buddy. I'll get here in a second. Come on, lift that kingfish up. Yeah! Where's Cappy? Fishing is phenomenal out there. We had some cold fronts and really balled up these baby sardines out there and brought all these fish in. And there's a ton of ballyhoo and cigar minnows to work with. We even went in, our bait got weak, so we freshened up on some bait. And I got a great team here, Colby and Nick. Big plus, big plus. And then I had guys that knew what they're doing today. So. You should have seen what we lost. That's what we caught. <laughs> Great day. Hey, thank you, Alex. Yeah, but be humble, guys. Another day, another dollar. How'd you guys do? Yeah, you did. Three 
Yeah, we're not gonna make it back. <laughs> hey, look, it's Adam. <laughs> from Alamorada Fish. Freight, right? Yeah, that's it. Alamorada Fish Freight. We're sealing and freezing a bunch of fish for Richard and his family. They're shipping it back to Texas. We're gonna portion pack all this fish, the tuna, the mahi, the kingfish. Yesterday we whole sealed a black grouper. So that's gonna go in the box as well. It's just a whole fish in a bag, frozen solid, and they're gonna whole cook it when they get home. And uh, we're just doing some paperwork and going over the, the details right now and we're gonna get him on his way. That's awesome. So if you guys come down to Almorada, and you come fishing at Bud and Mary's, you can get in contact with Adam and he will ship all of your fish back to wherever you guys came from. That's it. Just ask for us in the office or look us up on the internet, islandrodafishrate.com. You can Google us. We're all on there. You can read some of our uh, reviews. We got 75 star reviews. We're the best in the business and we don't mind telling you either. That's what we like to hear. Thank you, Adam. Yes, sir. You guys have a good one. So we just got back from the Everglades. We we were looking for some bigger stuff. The water temperature dropped due to cold weather in the fronts. We caught a bunch of snook. We caught some sea trout. We caught a small goliath grouper. We jumped the tarpon off. We didn't see any larger tarpon or couldn't get the sharks to go. But it was pretty fair fishing. A little bit of scattered showers today. Not bad. Christmas time's coming. Christmas week will be a little bit crowded up people are going to come down but after that there'll be some good fishing after the first of the year so if anybody's looking to go come look us up bud mary's marina captain johnny captain john yes sir johnny a little while how you doing doing good how are you i'm good, good. It's in. how'd you guys do out there we did good caught a sailfish seen a bunch more and it was a big one a big one 80 inches he might be going on the wall Nice. Uh, flew the kites all day and seen a bunch of women, but got one to eat and caught one, and there we go. It was a good day, though. Caught a mahi. Yeah, I think hey. this is ours right there. So. We got a stone anywhere? Mahi in December. No. How'd your day go out there, man? It was a great day. We caught some blackfin tunas, a couple of sailfish, big fat zero mackerels, lots of bonitas, nonstop action all day. My guys are so tired, they just went and hit the bed at the houseboat. They're gonna come back and pick up their fish. Yeah, it was good. Oh, and you got some tuna. Oh yeah, some blackfin tunas, bonitas, all kinds of fish. It was a good time. Nice right. weather, it wasn't rough out, it was nice. The rain came in the last hour, and we still were catching fish, so. Oh yeah, we were kite fishing most of the day. Caught our sailfish in the kites. Uh, saw another sailfish that was chasing ballyhoos, and he didn't eat, so we couldn't catch him, but it was fun. So thank you, see y'all soon. It's Mike Walker What's from up? the Spartan. What's happening, world? What's going on? Famous people all around the world. Oh, just cutting up a bunch of mangrove snappers we caught today. Caught a few tunas, caught a few kingfish. Fishing was good. Get on down and get some. Come on. Look, he's not lying, guys. That's Lots a lot of, of snapper. A lot of fish. Doing today, man? Well, I couldn't be doing better. I had a great first trip down here uh, from Atlanta. I will definitely be back. We had an excellent outing this morning. A little uh, weather was a little shaky at first, but it cleared up fast. We got out and got our bait fish, and uh, then the skies cleared up, and uh, wound up ha having a great time. Caught uh, caught a nice uh, redfish and snook and a, a bunch of snapper, and. Uh, Great scenery, uh, great company. Uh, could, couldn't ask for a better morning and uh, escape from uh, the big city. So uh, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> definitely uh, going to be bringing my 17-year-old uh, son back down here, and I think my wife actually will have a really good time. It was like uh, 
when the skies cleared up, it was like, uh, what did the captain say? It's like, it's your private aquarium. I mean, the, the visibility was amazing. The stuff you could see uh, right off the front of the boat. Uh, just yeah, a lot of spectacular nature. Uh, saw a bald eagle. Oh, did you really? Amazing. So, I, mean, I saw that, and I'm like, all right, uh, day is done. I mean, that was, uh, <laughs> uh, the trip was, that was before, I think that was before I even caught the first fish. And yes. I'm like, that's all right, we can go now. That was incredible. So anyway, it was, it was a great morning and uh, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't recommend uh, the experience more highly and, uh, and uh, the captain here. So. All right. So everyone comes down, they need to go check in with Captain Bill Bassett. You got it. For sure. the second day of the junior sailfish tournament and uh, yesterday we ended up catching three which is right now we're in the lead getting ready to go back out there what do you think about yesterday Layla it was exciting how many did you catch two are you top angler so far yes all right you say wow. you caught a kingfish yes. kingfish and sorry what did you catch I caught a mahi two mahis and I lost two two. yeah and RJ what did you end up catching sailfish and mahi so we sailfish and mahi yep so we end up catching three sails and Three or four miles and a kingfish, so. It was an exciting day. Yeah, we're crossing our fingers today, so we, we can keep it going. Awesome, guys. Well, good luck. Have fun out there. All right, thanks. Thank you. Bring it home for Bud and Mary's. Yeah, we're yes. working. Congratulations. Uh, four today and three yesterday and seven in total. Mm -hmm. Wow. How do you guys feel? Happy! <laughs> All right, well, good job. Looks like you guys have a whole crowd of people here to go yep. say yep. hello to. Congratulations. Saw me. I heard you coming in a room boy. <laughs> yo man, what are going yo? What are you doing? Yo, I'm gonna just get the this is a trout. This is it was a it was a um mutton snapper head. So I'm gonna take the trout out right there, so it was a trout. What are you I didn't do with that? I didn't keep the rest. Anything. I could fry it, throw in my ear fryer. Can we see it? Yeah, see a lot of meat. And you see this meat Aru boy? This meat's soft and nice. Very nice. What kind of fish did that come from? Um a mutton snapper. Yeah, I'm wanting snapper, you know? Isn't that your favorite? Yeah, man. I mean, them call it snapper slapper. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the, the snapper slapper. The, 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 the snapper slapper. Slapper. When me come around, snap, snapper get slap way. <laughs> straight. Yeah, you know? So, yo, straight. So, you can do anything with this, really. Like, soup, whatever. Fry, curry, anything. Just a nice piece of fish to eat. You know? Straight. Yeah, man. In the, in this one don't have no eyeball, you know? No eyeballs? No, no eyeball right now. I'm working on some eyeball though, you know? <laughs> yeah. So wh how are you going to cook it? The eyeball? No, the throat. This? I don't decide yet. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to put it down in my fridge and when I'm hungry, whatever quickest. If it's, if I got stuff, I'll do soup. If it's, if, if I'm hungry right away, I'll just put some season on it, drop it in the air fryer, 15 minutes, I'm eating some fish. Simple, you know. We just love life, you know. We just love life. Life is great. And just once you have life, just love and live up, you know. That's it. Big up to everybody. So Straight. come on down to Bud and Mary's and meet the Snapper Slapper. Yeah, man, Jamaica Mike, always at Bud and Mary. This is my place. <laughs> Bud and Mary. Anytime you come to Bud and Mary, I'm always here. Trust me. I love this place. Respect, yo. Straight. Yes, I am.
Is that a cracker? No, it's not a cracker. So getting beat up by Domino King here. Tell us about your game. My game What's is your yeah, strategy. I have no game. I'm trying to beat down this hippie. He got a haircut. And, oh, not very easy. Oh, what'd you do to me? But hippie just beat, beat you in no, Domino's, yeah, didn't no, he? No, he got lucky on one game. No, oh. no, no. It's gonna get nasty here in a minute. <laughs> gonna have to go looting. That's a looting hole. He already been looting once. He got more than he started with, so I know he's been looting. You see who's looking for you? Who's looking for me? Yeah. Ooh. The police. Oh my God. Okay, we got to take this off the camera. Yeah. Put him there, buddy. I'll get here. In a so let that keep his up. Yeah. <laughs> it's the famous Johnny Jones. Had a real, real good uh, kingfish bite. <laughs> Dr. Scott yelling at me in the background. And All right, guys, so what's your names? Chase. Chase? Mark. We're getting soaked over here. Did you guys see the shark? Nope. That was a beast, huh? That was a big one, man. Would, would have been my biggest. Would have been my biggest. Definitely a 50 pounder. It was good. You can't forget about the little poor guy. Let me see him. Oh, yeah, pretty fish. This is one of my favorite fish to eat right here. Whitest meat. Delicious. Slapper. Slapper. When me come around, snap, snap I get slap away. <laughs> it's like the tan man had a good day today. You know, I thought Alex had the best rack, but I don't know. It's pretty close here. I guess I might have him beat. How was it out there? Slow. Real slow. Fish is winning. Man, did we give you like permission to go to our fish? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna talk to Dr. Scott too much. Killer day. Killer day. Killer day. The killer day, nonetheless. Make sure you guys call that office if you want a book. Ask for Captain Charles, Keezy Charters. I'd love to have you. Thank you very much.